Well, hello, folks, this is Jamil for Gunstroke Reviews. We're here in Phoenix, Arizona, uh, the home base of Enlo Custom Guns with Marty. How you doing, buddy? Good. Okay, today we're going to talk about uh, Heritage uh, Rough Rider, but before we do that, I'd like to ask you to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to the channel so you can continue to get content like this. And Marty, what do we have here is the 88 Magnum. Uh, it, it is large. And honestly, to me, it's a novelty item mm -hmm. because, yeah, I tried shooting it. Pretty good shooter. Yeah. About 10 yards, but that is so front heavy. <laughs> it's not even funny. And, and who the heck is going to... They sell holsters for this thing. <laughs> How the heck are you going to... You have to do this to right, right. draw it from a holster. Or a cross draw, yeah. Yeah, and we have cross draw maybe. Can you use it in a chest rig because you can't <laughs> go farther enough. So we're going to convert it into a carbine. Um, it's legal because mm -hmm. this is more than 16 inches. Okay. Um, and we're going to use, because our Heritage does sell a carbine version. Um, I got the revolver and I said, ah, maybe a revolver's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Well, let's go ahead and make it into a carbine. And I'm gonna leave, I'm not gonna go back and forth, changing it back and forth. And we're gonna build it and leave it as a carbine and take it out and have a lot of fun with it. We're gonna shoot a lot of tin cans with it. Mm -hmm. So Marty, cylinder open, safety is on because uh, these revolvers do have a manual safety on mm -hmm. them. And there you go, buddy. There we go. Okay, if you want to see how this thing is done, you have to go over to the Rumble, our Rumble channel, because we're not going to show it here. So, check it out. And there we go. Wow. Yeah, this is uh, less hard to shoot. We're discussing that when you do this, make sure you don't put your hand here, because even though it's 22 long rifle, safety's on, you don't want to have your hand close. Nope. <laughs> um, YouTube Paul, Paul, Paul Harold did a test just recently in which he used a chicken drumstick. Okay. And he rubber banded it right next to the gap. Okay. And he shot 38 mm -hmm. plus B, 357 Magnum, and 44 Magnum. Okay. And, and with a 44 Magnum, it was, the blast was bad enough to break the bone mm -hmm. in the drumstick mm -hmm. and literally snap it in half. Right. Well, I, I, yeah, you're, you're probably not gonna get that with a 22, but at the same time, you know, you'll, you'll you don't get, like any, I, I personally wouldn't want any of that coming back towards me, so. Yeah. Well, it'll be interesting if we can make a a piece of wood or something to go up here that you uh, can... You would need some sort of a shield around it or yeah. shroud or something. Some, so you will prevent you from, you yeah. know, burning your hands. Uh, I, I don't think it's really going to, like you, you're saying, the 44 is what did it to, to the chicken bone. I, I doubt a 22 is going to do that much, but it's probably enough to scare you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It'll be annoying uh -huh. at best. But when you take this out to the range and do something cool with it, this is pretty neat. It's a novelty. Mm -hmm. um, I know that a lot of people take it on and off and put their pistol back on it. Mm -hmm. I am not going to go back. Mm -hmm. It's a carbine now, and it's going to remain a carbine. I think it's a cool little conversation piece. It's fun. It's perfectly legal to because it's over 16 inches, mm -hmm. so you're not dealing in, in NFA territory mm -hmm. here. Um, comfortable um, place to put your finger here. So it's, yeah, you can rest your finger there. Mm -hmm. Instead of doing this, you're putting your finger there when you're not pulling the trigger. And yeah, like you said, the front side is tiny, you know. Mm -hmm. It is very tiny. <laughs> oh yeah, well they, they have to diminish it just so, you know, well, uh, yeah. normal single actions, they have a very tall front sight there. But... I'm, gonna, I'm gonna need to put a little piece of something there or paint a little mm -hmm. orange in there because I can't see it. That, that well, that's that's another thing with single actions. They just have very tiny sights, right? And, yeah. I mean, you know. Yeah, this is really cool. Actually, I like it better as a carbine than as a, a revolver. Pistol. Yeah. Revolver a carbine revolver. is is kind of neat. Mm -hmm. I think we 
and then we need to put put some 22 magnum and compare 22 magnum to this because of course you can change the cylinder mm -hmm. and put 22 magnum in there yeah and yeah, i got some 22 new 22 magnum they the punch ammo is now available in 22 magnum from right federal. Punch. It's, oh, okay it's very punch okay we fired it through a five inch uh taurus um tx22 okay and it almost went 16 inches okay so it did tumble yeah because it's a yeah. 22 yeah but it did really really well with with that um re, uh pistol so okay we got to try it now and see how it works and look it's a carbine and it's kind of cool so thanks marty mm -hmm. appreciate it and guys thanks for watching and remember to remain healthy stay safe and definitely have fun at the range Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our patron page at www.patreon.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.